We got a lot of sun coming off that back end. Hey, it's nice out though. Yeah, yeah. Gonna get a little, gonna start to get a little warm. gonna start to get a little, oh, little yeah. hot. Okay, but um, shalom, shalom. From your cellar. Cool, hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to take the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan the Wah. Introduce yourself, uh, brother. Brother Harad. Brother Harad is with us again today. Hey, he been running with me. Well, we we going on about a month and a half, two months almost. The brother been running with me, man. So you know all praises, man. You know, because um, you know the scriptures goes off into a, um, uh, two or better than one. I don't know if that uh, that's in um, I think um, Ecclesiastes uh, uh, whatever chapter that is. Uh, but you know, hey, but I'm just appreciative to, to the Lord that He sent me help, man. You know. Oh, praise the Lord! How about Shimei Alshai for the brother? Okay, so um, yeah, we gonna, you know, first off, let's just go off into one um, while we come out. We come out to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that you are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. You're not Americans. You're not one of these people that's supposed to be out here barbecuing pork links and damn um, pork ribs to Memorial's Day. You know, we just gonna put it straight like that. Cause Jake out here wild. Jake, hey, I've been seeing Jake at the supermarket. Jake is all at the liquor store. Jake getting fireworks and shit. You know, just getting ready to celebrate the destruction of their people, basically, from, from the enemy. The so-called white man, hey, if you was if the so-called white man hadn't came to the west coast of Africa and brought you Negroes here, you wouldn't be able to call yourself American. You wouldn't be able to be celebrating a Memorial Day. What's a memorial? It's a memory. What's the memory of? Them conquering. <laughs> Straight up, and you, what do you have to do with it? Man, let these so-called white people celebrate what they stole, man, because it's fallen. But anyway, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. You're not what the, um, your oppressor called you, because Africa is named after a so-called white man. America is named after a so-called white man. And if you're calling yourself African and American, two continents that's named after two different white men, you're saying you descend from a so-called white guy. What kind of sense do that make? That don't make no sense at all. Black is a color out of a crayon box. How can you be a, a color is not a nationality. We're just different shades of brown people. No one's actually black. No one's actually white. It's different shades of red people. But the so-called white man, he pushed all that out throughout the four corners of the earth, man. That he's the Lord. Come worship me. Come praise me. I am God. I'm Jesus. I'm the angels. I'm the apostles, the prophets, man. That's a stumbling block to our people, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans come out of these harlot houses, man, worshiping white Jesus, man. And that's what we come out to let our people know, mainly. The, the, the gospel is simple. The Lord said, go preach to the to the, 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 the lost sheep of the tribes of Israel, man. That's right. This is not for the so-called Chinese. It's like you celebrate Memorial Day. That's like celebrating uh, Chinese New Year. You ain't Chinese. You ain't celebrating that. But why would you celebrate a, 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 but see our people, that's how our people get down, man. They, they will celebrate they mama dying. Go to your average funeral. Go to your average funeral in America. Soon as they drop that body in the ground, matter of fact, they partying the day before the funeral. You see? They high as hell before the viewing, but you best believe after they drop your ass into the ground in that casket, they going straight to party. Music banging. Niggas out here, come on, man. And guess what kind of a memorial they set up? Drinking bottles with little bears and shit. You know, stuffed animals. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, we hey, we, we just gonna touch on, um. let's go to um, Psalms 135. Because we, we have to let our people know that these scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments, the promises, the covenants, was only given to you, the Hebrew Israelites. It wasn't given to no other nations. But what did the so-called white man come into? He gave you white Jesus and told you that, hey, as long as you worship me, everybody, worship me. You got Taiwanese Christians, Chinese, Japanese people. Don't they have Buddha and shit? You know, don't they have Hindu? You got all these nations on the planet that's serving and worshiping the so-called white man as their Lord and Savior. 
That is insane. But you know how they done that? They done that with the sword. They ran throughout the four corners of the earth and beat white Jesus to most people, man. They just like, hey, look, we give up. We'll, you know, the ones that didn't, have, you know, didn't have any umph about them and say, hey, I'm gonna die for what I believe in. They just was sick and tired of seeing them murder their children, their women. They stole this country, man, on, 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 on the beliefs of white Jesus. But yeah, let's start at, um, I guess we can start from the top on, um, on Psalms um, 135. Psalms oh, 135 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise speak up, Ox. Speak up, Ox, so we can, you know, the people can hear us. Psalms 135, verse, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the, the name of the Lord. Praise, praise him, O ye servant of the of, of Yahweh side. Of Yahweh, yep, yep. Praise ye Yahweh. See what that, hey, that's one thing that, that we don't do. We don't praise the true father of the Bible, Bible, which his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. What do our people praise? They praise white Jesus. And I challenge you, any of you that's watching this video right now, Google when was the letter J invented, and what you're gonna see is it was invented in 1524. I think by a guy named Tresino, an Italian guy. You know, it, the history is there, Google it. But the letter J was invented in 1524, which is about 500 years ago. Now, if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, how could his name be Jesus? You see? The letter J, how could the Lord's name be Jehovah? The Father's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be in Paleo Hebrew. The name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's a savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And he's a dark, melanated man with woolly hair, deep voice. And the scriptures also said he was an austere man. That word austere in the Greek, it means that he was harsh, rough, rigid. It wasn't this soft, effeminate ass so called white guy that you be seeing, man. That they done pushed on the world telling you that he loves every damn body. Get out of here, man. Go ahead, Ock. Verse 2. Verse 2. Ye that stand in the house of your house, in the, in the court of the house of our Yahweh, praise the praise your house. For the for the for the Lord is good, sing praises unto him unto his name, for it is pleasant. See? The Lord's name is pleasant. You got all these guys running around out here talking about they don't know the name of the Lord when the name of the Lord is, is straight in the scriptures. You don't think these scholars don't really know what the name of the Lord is? They study, man. You can even go, you can go, it, it's, in the, it's in the scriptures. You can go into their commentaries. They'll tell you what the Lord's real name is. It's Yahweh. You see? You can go into the commentaries. These, hey, these, these so-called white men, hey, they search out everything. Don't think that they don't know what the true name of the father is. Don't think that they don't know who the true children of Israel are. They know that these scriptures is only for our people. Go ahead, I, now this is important right here. Go into verse four real quick. Verse four, for, for the Lord have chosen Jacob. Up, oh, he chose who? For the Lord has chosen Jacob. Jacob, man. Go ahead, I. Unto himself and Israel for his peculiar peculiar people peculiar treasures Salakia. for the Lord Yahweh have chosen Jacob you see that unto himself and Israel for a peculiar treasure you know what a treasure is come on man if your woman got a jewelry box you best believe she got valuables in there it's certain jewelry that's just a little bit more peculiar to her than her little cosmetic shit that she might get from a Walmart or something like that. She, hey, you, you think she gonna treat her wedding ring like how she'll treat some bullshit that she might have saw cute at the at one of these little women's stores, you know, your little nickel dime stores? No, she's gonna find her 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 diamond to be a peculiar treasure. That means that she's gonna be a lot more protective of it. You see what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, hold that. Let's go to, um, let's, cause, they, cause if you put in the word peculiar, it's in here a few times. I think it's, um, Deuteronomy 14 and two. Yep. Let's get Deuteronomy 14 and two. I'll read it off. I don't worry about it. But thou art in holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh thy power and Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself 
above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. You see that? So the Lord chose a people, and it's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Hebrew Israelites. You're a peculiar treasure to him. You're special to him. That's why the so-called white man and all these damn heathens, they're going to pay for what they've done to the children of Israel, man, flat out. Right. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, so it's in here a few times. It's in, um, oh yeah, let's get First Peter in the New Testament. Since everybody want to say, oh, that was the Old Testament. He loved y'all back then, but now there's replacement theology, and he loves everybody now. First Peter 2 and 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Who is the priesthood? Tell you how about Shimei was shy, man. The Israelites, a holy nation. What that word holy means? Separate, consecrated, man. A peculiar people. There go that word peculiar again. That ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that's what we're out here doing right now. He called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's how we out here doing what we're doing right now. You think the average person, the average Negro on a Saturday, as beautiful as this day is, you think a nigga be out here preaching the Bible unless the Lord, you hold by was side, brought them out of darkness? Get out of here, man. That's you're seeing the, the power of your Hawaii Shimmy Awashai in action by him waking up, you know, throwing that flesh on them dead bones. Go ahead, I verse five. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. What? Above all gods. Our Lord is great. He is above all gods. And if you notice, it's in a it's in lowercase g. You little gods. Because we're considered to be gods. A car to a person can be a god. Money is that most definitely a god to a lot of people. You know? A god can be anything. Anything that you that you look upon, your children can be a god to you. you know, them brothers know that. See the police officers, they even know about the Hebrew Israelites. You see, he just threw up a hand gesture like, brother, I know. But they got a job to do. We can see it in the spirit, man. Saturday after Saturday, because it's a precinct not too far from us. Saturday after Saturday, I see these officers, they, they, they ride through here and they say hi because they understand, they see the brothers out with the garments on, they see us and they know what we're about. They know that we're a peaceful um, people and that we're just preaching the Bible. Now you got the so-called white man, what is he doing right now? There's a few things going on right now. I, I don't know if you, if you, you know, familiar with, they trying to, now they got an algorithm where they trying to get around the fact that, you know, like we don't say certain words, you know, we say such and such, you know, and just trying to, say for instance, we say MOTB for the mark, but you know, instead of, now they trying to come up with hope, with some hope, they'll give you a strike for your channel now, basically, for basically outsmarting your robot. They don't want, they don't want us outsmarting their algorithms, man. But that's Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Now he's trying to stop this troop. This troop is cutting their asses to pieces. They want to know how is it that we know what they know before they know it and we're out here actually preaching it. That's what they want to know. Matter of fact, it's a lock here, all right? It's a, um... See if I can find this one, man. I want to say it was with. Maybe Elijah or Alicia. It's lucky. I may not be able to find it, but this one particular king, he was pissed. He was like, how the hell they keep knowing what I'm about to do? I may not be able to find it right off. Um, but it was a certain king. He was pissed off. He was like, man, how they keep knowing my move? It was like it was that prophet Elisha. He's he's because he, the prophecies was given to him. What's going on, brother? And we Hebrew Israelites, brothers, it's time to repent. We're in them last days. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but go ahead. I'll go ahead. Verse 6. Whatsoever the Lord please that did, did he in, in heaven and in earth and, and in the sea and the all deep places. 
You see that? Whatsoever the Lord wants to do, he's going to do it. In the deep places, the skies, man, the Lord, people have no idea, man, how cold the Lord is, man. They don't even think on how cold the Lord is, man. I just be sitting and I be thinking about some stuff like it'll blow your mind, man. When, just to just think like, well, Lord, where did you come from? Did you know, look, <laughs> you can't even begin even fathom like, he said he searched the whole entire universe, so to speak, to see if there were any other gods, and there was none. Then he created, man, he created the sun, man, the, the, the clouds, everything that you can see, he created it. It's just amazing. So when I think about stuff like that, it brings me into mind like, well, what the hell am I worried about? Who can come and, and, and harm me unless he wanted them to harm me? Can't get around it, man. He's in control of all things, man. Go ahead, Ock. Verse 8. Who's fuck? Who's fuck? Oh, yeah, uh, verse 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read verse 7. Yup, yup. You all right? Verse 7. He, he calls them the, the vapors to uh, ascend from the end of the earth. Oh, okay. Yep, he, yep. he make them lightning for the rain. He, he bring them. The wind out of his treasure. Look, he bringeth the winds out of his treasuries, man. You try, man, you can't, man, the, the Lord is cold, bro. He, look, he, he, he created lightning, man. The seas, the way the water swing up on the rocks, man. Just the way the wind blow. The scripture says that the wind blow in a circuit. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that real quick. I think that's Ecclesiastes. Uh, but everything flows in his circuits, man. The Lord is cold, man. This is why he's so worthy to be praised. Oh, matter of fact, that's the up Ecclesiastes um, chapter one. Um, let me see. Man, hey, this whole chapter right here is cold, though. I'm going to start at verse four. One generation passes away and another generation cometh, but the earth divided forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down and hasten to its place where he arose. The wind, what the brother was just saying, you know, talking about he, the, the Lord got the winds in the treasury, man. The winds goeth towards the south and turneth about unto the north, and it, it whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. Man, that's cold, bro. All the rivers run into the sea. Yet the sea is not full. <laughs> you got to wonder about stuff like that. The waters go right back to where they started from, man, and start back over again. It's just like summer, spring, fall. It, the Lord created the, these circuits, man. And that goes off into reincarnation as well. The, the circuit of man, your spirit is a circuit. It comes right back. You, you come down here, you live. You go to the Lord, your spirit goes back. You get your judgment. You come back down here, and we rocking out again. Let's see what else is on that. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full until the place from whence the river come, thither they return again, man. Go ahead, I, I, I just had to just kind of go into that, man. It's a lot. Verse 8. Who spoke the, the, the fire first born, first born of Jesus? That's what I wanted to get into. Yup, yup. Who spoke the, the first born of Egypt? Both of men and beasts. Now, if you're familiar with the scriptures, this is going off into the firstborn of Egypt. Who is this talking about? Pharaoh. The firstborn of Egypt was who? His sons and the beast. The firstborn of his cattle, horses, sheep, whatever they may have had, the Lord killed the firstborn of them, man. All for the sake of the Israelites. What do they call that today? The Passover. But what do our people do? They celebrate goddamn Easter, Easter and give you Easter bunnies and eggs and shit like that, man. Where the kids is dying eggs and, and, and you putting on your, 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 your suit with your gaiters on. Nigga ain't been to church all year. But he put on his three-piece with his gaiters and he slithers on off in the church with his hat on and shit. With his cane, possibly. The woman with that big-ass hat on. You know? They all matching, all in the sake of, of, of some idolatrous ass Easter. This is what that, that was going into. So if the Lord loved everybody, why did he kill the firstborn of the Egyptians? 
and their animals. And if you go into that real story and you see the plagues that the Lord brought upon that place, you will have to know that the Lord is not dealing with everybody. He's only dealing with the chosen people, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, with the promises were given to them. You see? Matter of fact, let me get, um, and we just pretty much, uh, yeah, let's get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'll get it real quick. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. This is talking about the Hebrew Israelites. He could have easily told Moses and Aaron to go up into Egypt and tell Pharaoh, hey, look, man, I want y'all all to get together. You know, we're going to all come together. You know, I want, you know, we're just this happy family. We, lo I love you too. You know, the children, hey, we're going to all get together and y'all just worship me and, 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 and talk Pharaoh and them the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah Why didn't that happen? But then not to mention, even more of them died in the, in the Red Sea with the army, trying to chase down the Israelites after he finally let them go. But the Lord kept hardening his heart. And that goes off into America, too. Uh, the Lord is hardening these so-called white people's hearts, man, because there is a spiritual cry for the so-called white man to let Israelites go. They're not going to let us go, man. They're, they're too goddamn stubborn. The Lord didn't harden their hearts. So it's going to be a new exodus. When it comes to you, how about Shimei Abishai coming back in these last days, man? Go ahead, Ock. Verse, verse 9. Who, who sent tokens and wonders into the, into the minds of, the, of, of trees? Oh, oh, and, oh, into the midst of thee, yep. Who sent tokens and wonders? That's what it was. Those were those tokens. Those things that the Israelites got to see. They got to see the frogs and the the um the, the plagues of lice, the um the, the water turning red from the fish. They wasn't, you know what I'm saying? They seen all those miracles. They seen that gross darkness where it was so dark, you know what I'm saying, that nobody could see, at least on the on, on the Pharaoh side. But the Israelites had everything. Nothing when when the firstborn of the uh, uh the Egyptians got killed during the Passover, when they had the instructions to, you know, paint the blood or put the blood on the um on the, on the pillars and, and doors of their houses, so to speak, that they got passed over. The angel of death passed over their homes. And that goes off into, uh, um, as well, these in these last days, the Lord, the Lord has placed a mark on certain people. He said to place a mark on those that sigh and cry. Matter of fact, that spirit, because that, we're back in, that de in those days again, because this is spiritual Egypt. See if I can find that. Those that sigh and cry. Because that's what we're doing. We're we hate this fucking place, man. We're vexed with this place, man. That's right. Well, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jer Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that do it, that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's why we out here. Because we fucking hate this place. Straight up. I'll be damned if well, I'm gonna I'm I'm fire up my damn barbecue grill for what these damn Edomites done to us. I'm gonna sit down to turkey and dressing. We're signing and crying about our women out here all fucking ass cheeks out, tits out. Jake out here just out of hanging out of windows, shooting at police officers and shit. Niggas just, just complete niggas. We're signing and crying for the fact that our royal people have fallen to the point of being complete Negroes and love America. They love the so-called white man, man. Go ahead, I. O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants, who smote great nations Ooh. and slew mighty kings. See that? See that? Go ahead, I. Go ahead, go ahead. Cyrus, king of the, um, um, the Amorites. And or, or king of Bashan. Bashan. And all the king kingdoms of Canaan, yep, Canaan. the Canaanites, and gave their land for a heritage, and heritage unto Israel, his people. So, if you go into this story, what this what this psalm is 
is reiterating is, is telling you the history, some of the history of the Lord killing off the firstborn of Egypt, which was Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And they remember that history, man. I don't think they don't. They got that history on lock. But what it says is, let me get that again. Um, he sent tokens and wonders into the midst of the O Egypt upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants who smoked great nations. Now it's going to go off into the nations. When we came out of Egypt, the Lord killed off a bunch of other motherfuckers, man, to give us the promised land. One of those first kings was um, the king of the Amorites. And these are all damn Hamites, too. Ah, king, um, king of Bashan, all the kingdoms of Canaan. It was a whole bunch of um, 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 damn Hamites, man, around at that time, man. You see? And gave their land for a heritage and heritage unto Israel, his people. Why does it keep talking about Israel? Why does it keep talking about these um, possessive pronouns, talking about just one people? Why is he killing all these people for the children of Israel if he loves everybody and everybody can be saved and everybody got something to do with the covenants, man? That's not what it is. The Lord only dealing with the children of Israel. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. You are the children of Israel. My crew, it's just me and my brother. Sometimes we, sometimes, you know, the Lord sent some of us out in two. Yep, he sent some of a lot of us out in two. Then sometimes you'll see a little bit more of us. But the angels are all around. Yep, but the angels are all around. You're welcome. We in them last days. We got to repent. And that's beautiful right there. See, the sister, she was on the bus. She was like, Shalawan, Shalawan. You see? We don't, hey, we don't know where we're going to be. We don't know what we're going to be teaching. I always like to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to just give me what he wants to go out. The brother, he's bringing out the scriptures. Precepts is coming to mind, and we bring the precepts out. And we, we try our hardest to not ever quench the spirit, man. You don't want to quench the spirit. Just let the spirit flow, man. Whereas we are, oh, yeah, we was on, um, Yep, but he gave that heritage to Israel, man. You better realize, if you go back into the Old Testament, you read that story of when the Exodus first went down, when the children of Israel, you know, came out of Egypt. Man, the Lord knocked off a lot of people, man, on our behalf to give us that land. And he's going to do it all over again, man. Go ahead, I. 13. Thy name, O Lord, endure forever. And thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. See that? Thy name, O Lord, endure forever. What does that mean? How can these, these Hebrew Israelite camps say that we don't know the Lord's name no more? He says his name would endure forever. When you go into that, that, that word, or when you go into Lord, and it's in all caps in the Bible, that means Yahweh. Now, in your, your, your English Bible, it might spell Jehovah, but there's no letter J in Hebrew, right? There's no letter E in Hebrew. There's no letter V in Hebrew. There's no letter O in Hebrew. You see, no letter U. The Hebrew alphabet only has 22 characters. Your American alphabet, I think, what, 26 letters. And you got the 1948ers, the small hatters, to think for that. Because they added on the vowel points. And they really, they don't speak Hebrew, they speak German Slavic. That's really, wh that's why the Germans can understand what they're speaking. I've seen, go online, you can go on YouTube right now and put up Germans. Can Germans understand the, the language of, 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 of basically the raised leaves? Of course they can because it ain't number German anyway. It's not real Hebrew. You see? Hey, now, we're the Hebrew Israelites, sir. You know we're the Hebrew Israelites, right? He Hebrew Israelites, you know, where, you know that the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans are Hebrew Israelites? That's our that's our original um, nationality. We're not black, right? No, we're not. You know, Africans and and, and, and our people are different, right? Yeah. It's it's huh? It's fifty four countries in the continent of Africa, right? It's fifty four countries there. We're not Africans. We're from the from from Shem. Africans are from Ham. <clears throat> All right. We're Hebrew Israelites, though. Repent, brother. We're living in the last days. He was like, I don't want nothing to do with it. He was like, uh-uh. We're Africans, right? No, we're not Africans, man. 
But that's a big stumbling block to our people. Now, when you ask him, you know, I'm telling him it's 54 countries in the continent of Africa, then he now he would have to say, well, which country do we come from? You're not going to get no answers, man. <laughs> he just take guard people right here, man. Hey, man. But we're not Africans, man. We're not Hamites. We are Shemites, man. And I was just looking at a, a real good um, video from the brothers out in Dallas. Where they done they um they camp last night. Man, that was a cold camp, bro. And it was this guy coming up at the end, man. He had his Bible. He was on that Christian. Man, they was cutting him all to pieces, bro. But the, hey, that African stumbling block is a real stumbling block to our people. You're Hebrew Israelites. You're not Africans. When Noah came off the boat, he had his sons and they had their wives with them. He, his sons were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The so-called blacks, they come from Shem. The Africans come from Ham. You see? As a matter of fact, I don't even know. Um, I'm not online right now. But if you go into the Zondermans um, Bible Dictionary, what it'll tell you about Ham is that he's not the progenitor of the Negroes. It tells you with the Libyans, Ethiopians, the Egyptians. See, they know that. We, hey, we have a whole different vibe than um than um than Africans, so to speak, man. As a matter of fact, they don't like us. They treat us just like shit, just like the Edomites do, just like the Moabites do, just like the Ammonites do. We're not Africans, man. Africa was named after a so-called white man. We say I just said that earlier in the video. If you're calling yourself African and American, you're calling yourself, you saying that you descend from two white men. And see that brother, you know, you got a lot of educated brothers, but the Lord is not dealing with earthly wisdom, man. He's dealing with the spiritual wisdom, man. That's why he sent the prophets out. And it may sound stupid to the average person, but man, the man, I be seeing the brothers, man, they be running circles around Bible scholars. Running circles around them. Be putting them on the game. Then they got to go back study. Now all of a sudden you got these Christians, they got to actually study the Bible. Oh, he said this, he said that. Well, let's go into this. And then they try to come up with some shit. Basically, they trying to get rid of Isaac and Jacob. You see? They trying to get rid of Isaac and Jacob. You can't get rid of Isaac and Jacob. Isaac and Jacob go with Abraham. The promises was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed into Israel, which is Yahshua in the Hebrew, prince of the power. Those 12 sons that he had, the promise continued with him and his seed. Now all of a sudden you've got these so-called white people want to add everybody into it with their replacement theology. And all of a sudden the Lord is some white guy. Come on, man, get out of here. Go ahead, I. For seed, for the Lord will judge his people and he will repent himself to serve his servant. See that, he said he will repent. The Lord will judge his people. Who are his people? The Hebrew Israelites. That's why you keep hearing all these, possess these possessive no pronouns, man. That's possessive. That's mine. This is my backpack. You know? This is my, my garment. You know? This is my water bottle right here. You see what I'm saying? It, it doesn't belong to anybody else. That's possessive. That's why you're going to continually hear the Lord say things like that, man. Go ahead. I 15. The idols of the heathens are silver, 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 and gold. The work of man's hands. You see that? The idols. And that's what the, that white Jesus is. That's a goddamn idol. The works of the heathen are silver and gold. The works of men's hands. What? Is, who do you think is forming this, this, when, you know, and you see Jake all the time, especially a lot of these rappers, they got the big ass Jesus piece. The works of silver and gold, man. They cut out the cross and they, you know, they got these big statues and this. Hey, you, hey, they got a, they got a newer statue now. Yeah, hey, what's going on now? Remember, we the Hebrew Israelites, brother. Yeah. We back again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. Hey, we living in those last days. But anyway. That's right. Oh, yeah. But th that silver and that gold, that's, that's synonymous with our people, man. Worshiping all these false ass gods. They, man, they go and, and, and and create these pieces and they take their time with it. 
it's artwork to the person that's put it together. And they actually, they sell these things to these people and people set them up and start to worship them, man. Kind of reminds me of, um, I want to say the story of uh, Daniel. I think that's, um, that might be in um, Dragon and the Bell. Uh, uh, what is that, uh, the Book of the Apocrypha? Um, uh, let me see, what is that? Uh, and that king, he kept, you know, he was like with Daniel, you know, uh, you know, just basically trying to get Daniel to believe on, on, on his God. He's like, man, your God is an idol. And whatever it was, it was like they had like a trap door in the, in the temple. He was like, well, who's eating all this food and drinking all this water? And then he got smart. He put like some, some salt or something like that down. And he was like, you know, lock the door. So they was basically, it was a bet, so to speak, that... Between this particular king and Daniel, that his God was real. He was like, man, they, he was like, man, your God not real. He was like, okay, we gonna do this. We gonna put all this food in here. We're gonna put the drinks in there because that's what they was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. They was putting food and drinks before their God, and then at night, supposedly, he was supposed to have been eating it. And then Daniel, by wisdom, put down something where it could leave footprints. He was like, lock the door. The, the king asked him, is the door securely locked behind you? He's like, yes, king. They got up in the morning. The king ran in, was like, look, see, all the food gone, all the drinks gone. My God, my God, he, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And then Daniel was like, well, look at who's these footprints. Or he was seeing little bitty baby, he was seeing children footprints and, and big people footprints. They had, his priest, his false priest had trap doors in the background where they was coming in at night and they was the ones that was eating and stealing the food. Yep, and then it went on where um, he killed the dragon back then, man, so to speak. But hey, but anyway, the Lord is all powerful, man. Okay, uh, we can go back into it. We pretty much, um, I'm not sure how many um, verses is on that. But it, you know, I think it's about 21 verses on that. Yeah, it's 21 verses. Where you at? Um, 17? 16? You at 17? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, you at 16. Then. 16. Talking, and it's talking about these idols. Go ahead, Ock. They have mouths, but they speak not. See? Eyes have they, but they see not. They what? have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. See that? So that's, and, and the scriptures goes off into that all the time. It talks about how they got to be dusted, how the birds come sit on them and shit on them. You see these statues, man, in front of these churches, man? Go to some of these churches and look at some of these hey, beautiful um, um, displays, <laughs> but, but are they going to do anything? No, they need to be washed. They need to be dusted. You know, you, you, you go to any of these churches and walk, man, some of these goddamn cathedrals, beautiful. But what you're not going to see is white Jesus getting off the wall and helping you out with nothing. You see? All, 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 the, all the idols of these heathens are useless. So that's why the Lord called them vain. Because they're useless, man. Here you go praying to white Jesus. They ain't going to do nothing for you. Niggas came and enslaved you with white Jesus, but he's your God all of a sudden. It don't make no sense. And our people really believe that, man. You got the average nigga out here. He'll shoot at his brother. He'll do a damn drive-by. But I'm willing to bet you he'll tell you he's a Christian. <laughs> I'm willing to bet you he'll tell you he's a Christian. Ask, ask the average woman that's a stripper. She'll tell you that she believes it. She'll be twerking with a Jesus symbol on her neck, man. A gold symbol on her neck. Ask any of them. Well, you, Allah. Yup. Or that. Uh, uh, yup. Most of them will tell you they're either Christians or they're in the Islam. Being the most wickedest though, man. You see what I'm saying? And hey, what's going on now, brother? The Hebrew Israelites, bro, we're in the last days. It's time to repent. That's why the Lord said, hey, go out and teach the kingdom, man. He said, teach that the kingdom is at hand. The kingdom is at hand, man. This place is about to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire. You see these people out here, they, hey, they testing all kinds of missiles right now. Them ICBMs ain't no joke, man. They ain't no joke. Russia got a, got, got a, got a uh, he got that Satan too. That'll reach America in 30 minutes. <laughs> hey, matter of fact, you see that um, the one Russian um, general, he said that they can destroy Europe in 200 seconds. 
I think he said Poland and Finland, they can, they, can, they can knock them off in 10 seconds, 15 seconds. That's how fast those ICBMs move, man. This place is gonna be destroyed, man. It is high time to awake out of sleep, man. What else we got? Uh, where was we at? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, 17 or... Oh, no, no, you was at 18. 18, yep, 18, go ahead, Ah. Uh. First 18. They, they that make them are like unto them. Who? Unto them. They that make them are like unto them. So they're useless. This nigga that made the God, he's useless just like the God that he made. Go ahead, Ock. So is everyone that trusted in, in them. See? How you trusting it? That's like you actually getting into your car, your vehicle, and you actually trusting the car to keep you, to, to drive for you, basically. <laughs> You might have some auto, you know, they got some, some features in the newer cars where, you know, even like with Tesla, it might drive on its own, but still you have to be up to see, you know, you don't want to just, you know, lay back and fall asleep to that shit. You know, like that, that's like telling your, calling your house and telling your house to come get you. You know, I, I'm, I'm sleepy, I'm tired. I don't want to come. I don't want to come that way. Why don't you come to me? And your house just get all of a sudden get up and, 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 and take legs and come run into your ass. Or it just some propellers come flying out of the top of it and the house fly to where you are just for the night. No, it don't work like that, bro. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, Ock. 19. You trusting in these false ass guys. That's what's got our people in what we in right now. Go ahead, Ock, my bad. 19. Bless the Yahweh, old house of Israel. Who, old house of Israel? It is not. It just told you how he knocked off Pharaoh, the king of all of Bashan, and all these other kings. He still possesses on who? The Israelites, because the scriptures. This whole truth is about Hebrew Israelites, man. Go ahead, I. Bless Yahweh, old house of Aaron. House of Aaron. Who was? What was Aaron? Aaron was from the house of, um, of Levi, man, or, or, or he was a Hebrew Israelite. See, it's still possessive, man. Go ahead, Op. Bless your house, old house of Levi. The Levites. Who was the Levites? Hebrew Israelites, man. And all of a sudden, you got some damn heathens that supposedly, now they can, they can do the services of the God, of, of our Lord, man. The services of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was given to the Levites. Not even a... The Israelites, the other, the other 11 tribes, they, they couldn't even go into the temple like that. They had nothing to do with the animal sacrifices. Like th Those were the works and the services of our Lord Yahweh, man. See? Go ahead, Ock. Where we at? Uh, we had our last one. Uh, ye, ye that fear Yahweh, oh, yeah. bless the Lord. Oh, yeah. Bless be Yahweh out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye Oh, 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 See that? Now, who, 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 who is in Zion? This is all about this, the Hebrew Israelites. That's why I wanted to go up into this, because you got these, these so-called white people with re replacement theology, and they done placed themselves in the scriptures. Man, these people done ran throughout the four corners of the earth, done raped, robbed, and pillaged everybody in the name of sweet white baby Jesus. Our people really believe that their Lord is some cracker, man. Like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> like for real, you got real, like for real. When I really be thinking about it, you got Chinese people that got their own God, Buddha, but they, you got Chinese Christians. That is insane. But that's how the so-called white man that ran throughout the earth and had pushed it their God. Matter of fact, I go to um, 2 Thessalonians 2. We pretty, we pretty much finished on ours. Um, two and three. Start at verse three. Second Thessalonians, two, verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And what does that mean? That means that we fell away. We fell away as a people. That has already happened. Go ahead, I. And that man of sin be revealed the, the son of perdition. The man of sin that's being revealed is the so-called white man. Everybody know that this clown is tearing up the whole goddamn planet. Everything is terrible because of this guy. 
He's the man of perdition. Now that that's starting to be revealed, that's how you know that we're in the last days because that's an indicator. That's how you know that it won't be long before this place is new, man. Go ahead, I. Go on, pull him and exalted. Exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh or that is worshiped so that he as Yahweh sit up in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself that he is Yahweh. See? And who gave you white Jesus? <laughs> huh? Who gave you, who, who sit in the temple of Yahweh saying that he is Yahweh? If you put in Jesus or if you put in God, all you're going to see is white people. Now, if you put in Yahweh or Yahweh's side, all you're going to see is dark images pull up. Google it. Try it. Give it a go. You see what I'm saying? Now, matter of fact, go to um, Job 9 and 24. Right? Job 9 and 24. Yep. Because you have to realize that America right now, they're out here. These, these, these are your Christians, man. These are damn Christians that celebrate Memorial Day, that murder and, and, and went and stole all these, these lands and resources, man, and enslaved every goddamn body. Go ahead, Doc. You got him? Yo, 924. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. See that? He converted. He covered it. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, it's asking a rhetorical question. See, is the earth, if, if the earth is not get, if the earth is not in the hands of the so-called white man, then whose hands is it in there? Who's running things, man? Let's just be honest. If you had to do a multiple choice of A, Chinese people, B, Japanese people, C, Filipinos, D, uh, Negroes, <laughs> E, the so-called white man, your answer is gonna more likely lean towards E, which is the so-called white man. You see what I'm saying? They're running the earth. And then, you know what? I was mentioning that earlier at another video I was doing. Now they'll give you Juneteenth, right? This must supposedly be Juneteenth of you Negroes that didn't know that you was free for two years after the law was set. It was Jake still in slavery when the law was set, right? Supposedly, right? Now they give you Juneteenth all of a sudden you got motherfuckers out here celebrating some damn Juneteenth as if they're free. And they give you Juneteenth. What, 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 who else is, is a part of June? Pride Month. They put your ass, they linked you right up with LGBTQ like they always do. As if the LGBTQ was getting damn crosses burnt on their lawns, man. LGBTQ, I, I, I ain't heard of none of them being hung. I ain't heard of none of them being castrated. But they'll tell you that you free but try and leave America without the so-called white man's credentials. Try it. Go to the airport and, and, and just say, hey, I'm free. No, you're going to have to have the so-called white man's passport, his driver's license. You're going to have to be able to show that you got all the so-called white man's shots. <laughs> and then once you get to where you're going from there, they're going to still check you. Oh, you're the white man's. Oh, you belong to the American white. Okay. Your ass is nothing but a slave still, man. You see? Well, we pretty much can about wrap it up. We just wanted to just, hey, we come out on the weekends and we do these camps, man. We had some interaction, as you can see, which is beautiful. We, we, we love that. But, hey, it be days when we come out, nobody will say nothing. Yeah. And it don't matter because we're just out here to do the work of Yahweh Bashimi outside. That's all we want to do. The Lord is going to get the word out, man. All the gimmicks, all the clickbait, all the, you know, the, the, the big talk, the big words, that shit don't make no difference, man. The Lord is going to wake up who he wants to wake up. And he's going to keep the ones that he wants to stay asleep. He's going to keep them asleep. You can't do nothing about it, man. Man's goings of Yahweh by Shimei our side. You see what I'm saying? We just pray to the Lord that and we thank him first off for bringing us into this truth because it's beautiful. And we definitely don't want our Holy Spirit to be blown, you know, him to take away his Holy Spirit from us or blow out our candlestick. We pray that on a daily basis, man. I pray that, man. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, we're living in the last days. High time to awake out of sleep. Matter of fact, we can end out like we all, how we normally always end out with Romans 13 and 11. 
We always bring this out. We got to bring out Romans 13 and 11, man, and 12, you know, and let our people know the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be in Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior and deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And this, 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 this truth is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the true Hebrew Israelites. Go ahead, huh? Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the, the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. See that? It's now. It says that now, if this was written 2,000 years ago, don't you think that we will be a whole lot closer now? The wars, rumors of wars are going on, right? Everything that the, when the disciples asked the Lord what would be going on in the last days, it's all happening right now. Wars, rumors of wars, the pestilence, the famines, the earthquakes. There's been all kinds of earthquakes going on lately. You see? Sedition of men, uproars of the people. They about to throw a whole new disease at your ass. And they gonna let these couple of little holidays probably ride out. They gonna let these niggas barbecue. They gonna let you get your 4th of July and stuff in. But eventually, it's gonna be a wrap from there. They gonna more likely tell you about this new monkey business. They got a goddamn orangutan pox. <laughs> and then they gonna throw niggas right back on lockdown, man. Go ahead, I first 12. Oh, did we finish? Yeah, we did finish 11. I thought you, you read it all the way through. Unless you want to, yeah, you can read it back, though, if you want. But well, now is our salvation near, nearer than when we believe. See? Well, now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Verse now. You see? Verse 12. I verse 12. The night is far, far spent. The day is at hand. Let us, therefore, cast off the works of darkness. And let us, let us put on the armor of light. So there you go, man. And how do you do that? How do you put off the works of darkness? How do you, um, you know, put on the armor of light? That's by believing in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh First off, you have to know the true name. And that name again is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. The name of his son, you repent to the father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. The name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer. Hey, that's what this is all about. Who you think? The Lord, Yahweh Shai, was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. He came back to put back the children of Israel. This truth is not for all you heathen as nations, man. And you're going to be in for a rude awakening when you figure out that you've been serving the white man for nothing. When you've been, you've been, you, you figure out that you've been serving the so-called white Jesus, all these goddamn idols for all this time, you're going to realize that, hey, I, I could have just been out here partying because you're wasting your damn time. You could have been out here just having fun like every damn body else. You believe in the white Jesus, you you, you might as well just be doing whatever, man. Yeah, exactly. You might as well live it up. You waiting, yeah, exactly. You two thirds. You know, like I said again, man, I want no parts of that shit. It's scary to me. But our people don't have no the proper fear of our father. How about Shimmy I was shy, man? But hey, like I said again, it is high time to wake out of sleep. It's time to repent. You repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And this is for strictly for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. So with that, we're going to call it a camp by giving all praises to our Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and to our elders of Great Millstone, who we were well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say Thawada to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. We're in the last days with that. Shalom. Oh, yeah, for sure.